Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox. I would like to welcome you to the Sunday Book Review. The Sunday Book Review is the series where I discuss books which impact the compliance practitioner, the legal professional, and the business professional. I hope you will enjoy this episode. The Sunday Book Review is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a quick word from our sponsor. The Sunday Book Review for February 5, 2023, The Coming U.S. Conflict with China. First up, Chip War by Chris Miller. And he would be surprised to learn that microchips are the new oil and the scarce resource against upon which the modern world turns. Chip War recounts the gripping story of how tiny silicone chips came to define our world. It is a provocatively interesting book and a shows that a reckoning is coming with China as bids for semiconductor supremacy and the U.S. move into direct competition. Next up, Where the West and China Find Common Ground by Maria Tatar. Fairy tales have a coefficient of weirdness so high that they can often seem like one-offs. Indeed, many classic anthologies were compiled in 19th century as European scholars sought to strengthen their national identities. In this book, which takes a very different direction from our prior book, the author looks at uh, some of the basically fairy tales from East and West, and it turns out that many of the oral traditions have been intertwined much more than people have believed. Next up, Who Got China Wrong by Bob Davis. Does the disappointment with the turn in China relations mean the strategy of engagement is fundamentally flawed? Well, um, perhaps, but uh, this book offers a very uh, different answer to that question. Uh, Davis examines the nuances of both arguments and the advice they hold for shaping U.S.-China relationships into the future. Next up, Revolution and Dictatorship by Stephen Levitsky and Lucan Wei. Why is the Communist Party still around? That's a question the authors grapple with in this book. In a sweeping historical analysis, they examine 13 revolutionary regimes and why the China Communist Party is an example of durable authoritarianism. Counterintuitively, the authors argue that some of China's greatest mistakes um, help explain the party's longevity. And our final book is Xiang Jinping, The Most Powerful Man in the World by Stefan Ost and Adrian Geis. In this book, two German journalists examine the Chinese communist leader whose slogan, Common Prosperity, has its roots in Mao and largely vanished until Xi revived it as a promise for the Chinese economy and how it drives many of his decisions today. China emphasizes humane and effective leadership by contrasting itself with the caring and chaotic government of the United States, and it shows or tries to demonstrate American shortcomings as flaws to democracy in general. The authors argue far from turning Xi away from hardline politics, the persecution of his father may have uh, actually made him a stronger believer in the communist system. These types of, not inconsistencies, but seemingly Uh, Disparate uh, actions are an interesting part of the U.S.-China dynamic. The Compliance Podcast Network was recently honored with several communicator awards. For podcasts, I know you will want to check out. Are you interested in Lyme disease? Well, check out Understanding Lyme Disease. And check out the Hill Country Podcast, where I look at the people, places, and things of the Texas Hill Country. I recently posted a new podcast series The Big Empty on 21st Century Economic Issues Facing the State of Texas, where together with author Lauren Steffi and using his book, The Big Empty, to introduce five key economic topics facing the state of Texas. It's a fusion of fiction and current fact that I know you will enjoy if you're a book reader, if you're an economist, or just a listener. And we actually have one more, which is the board's role in compliance, where I'm joined by my colleague, Jonathan Mark 
partner at Baker Tilly, where we look at the role of the board of directors in compliance, starting with the Caremark Doctrine and carrying that forward and answer questions on how a board can fulfill its obligations under a best practices compliance program. The Sunday Book Review is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network.